speaker. As the third speaker, I'd like to propose three things, which is briefly rebut against the opposition. Secondly, um, summar, summar, summarize our, our team's points and briefly add our point on practicality. First, I'd like to rebut. They said we have been addressing pro the U.S. is going to how military intervention, but we have never said anything about U.S. actually going to Somalia and supporting. Rather, we have said something about the U.N. and the British forming such corporations to, <laughs> to go into Som Somalia. And in addition, they have been talking about um, the presidents are showing um, disapproval against the, this form of Somalia inter military intervention. However, this we cannot support this because the Somalian government is rather illegitimate, rather illegitimate where the, it's not being supported by people. And now, <coughs> I would like to summarize our points. First, we have addressed that, our po we are, that there is clearly a problem in Somalia, which are both urgent and poten there are potential problems where urgent may be na are national and regional, and then potential problems are interna international. We have um, uh, showed practicality through addressing a uh, very, very real realistic corporation, and we have done cost and benefit analysis, and both benefit being uh, economic and political benefits that over Ways, outweighs the cost, and now I'd like to add point on practicality. Uh, Somalia military intervention is also practical by looking at the history ref historical reference, which is Afghanistan. Afghanistan for years have been failing, failing in terms of U.S. intervention. However, recently it's showing a quite a success, and by showing seeing this, we can see that by observing the military intervention in long term, we can see success. Where um, Afghanistan, although started from a failed state, now has a government and a president who is Hamid Karzai, and more and more Taliban's are dri dri being dragged out, which shows su um, success, success in Afghan military. And this, by looking at observing these historical references, we can also see that Somalia will all Somalia military intervention will also work. Okay. All right. Second summary speaker, are we ready? What are we going to do after the debate? Is that next politics exercise? But yeah, I'll give you the next one second, actually. Ten seconds. Why do you want? Why do you want Okay. All right. Second summary. Um, as a um, as the third speaker of the Kansai, um, I'll adjust my statement. So this has believes that we should not support military intervention in Somalia. And first, once again, our team motor is violence leads to another violence. And um, first of all, I'd like to say one thing about their co-site. Um, I'll say just one thing. Um, in the, um, their second speaker mentioned about U.S. military sending, um, uh, U.S. sending military intervention to Somalia. So I'll I'll just I'll, I want to just um, clarify that, and also uh, I mean and um our values are the role of government and the ne <coughs> negotiate negotiation rather than um causing violence to the to, to Somalia, which can actually worsen the situation, and also um I like to say that um sending military intervention can actually uh um. <clears throat> can kill um, innocent people. So in other words, um, innocent people are being sacrificed. So um, we believe that military intervention is not the best way to um, uh, solve the problem. And also, um, <clears throat> instead of... Um, also, and since it is not that that of an urgent problem, I don't think um, we should send military intervention to solve the problem in Somalia. And once again, this house believes that 
we should not support military intervention in Somalia. Okay, Grand Crossfire, you ready? Okay, first question comes from the pro side. You, uh, you guys have said that, uh, well, so what is your counter plan to, uh, can, would you guys please explain specific details of how you're going to negotiate by not using military intervention? Um, we're saying that negotiation might be better than in military intervention because we haven't right now tried any negotiation, so we're considering about doing negotiations such as su supplying military force no, no. <laughs> we did the cost-benefit analysis of um, supplying military force and giving money. And supplying military force had large amount of casualties can happen, like innocent people's life having sacrifi sacrificed. Uh, oh, but aren't you guys being a, a bit more impractical by saying that this can lead to success, this can kill people? Aren't you guys rather speculating and not showing direct evidence, which shows that you guys are not, doesn't really show, have, show that they, you guys don't really have the direct evidence to support your point? We gave such examples such as um, Afghanistan and Iraq, which wasn't e successful because there has been over 14,000 and um, casualties in I Afghanistan and more um, casualties in Iraq. Well, there and you guys also mentioned that um, um, by sending military force in Afghanistan, you guys said that um, first it didn't work and then later it showed a slow recovery. And you guys also mentioned that it was an urgent problem. Then how can you say that sending military can actually solve the problem while when you guys said it is urgent and M they can show, they, it will show a slow recovery? Military intervention will show. Military intervention will have some cost, and the recovery will be slow. That's why I'm saying that by putting military intervention, we will get, um there will be cost, but then it will solve the urgent problems, and it will recover slowly, which will prevent the potential problem, which is the international problem. Okay, and when you said about the U.S. um um Ban Ki Moon, you and Ban Ki Moon said um about the point of military intervention is better than the peace, and. You changed the point by saying UF, UN chief said it, and UN chief and Ban Ki Moon is really different place and position. And why are you changing the people of your evidence? We apologize for presenting um, wrong information at first, <laughs> but it is still true that UN officials and other um, um, UN Security Council and IGAD have supported the. Um, Somalian interve military intervention, so it still proves our point that it would be practical to have military force in Somalia. Okay, time.